Hi, this is a demonstration video for a Denon cassette deck DRM 800 model. This is a three head unit. I'm going to show you around back first here and then we'll talk about controls and everything. So, just got the power cable on this end. There's your serial number and model number for reference. And over here is all of our inputs and outputs. There is a CD direct in and out. Or, uh, sorry, in only. So that's if you, you know, you hook your CD player to this unit, that, that's your inputs there. And then you got your line in, line out here for your recording source and then line out to your amplifier. And that's pretty much it on, on the back side. So we'll back around front here. Um, <clears throat> cabinet wise, this thing these sides are, are plastic. It's kind of a, I don't know, corrugated, I guess you could say, somewhat plastic. And then the metal is, or the top is metal here. Um, this thing is in pretty good shape. There's a few scratches and that sort of thing. But you can tell this unit, it, it, um, even though they've got plastic on the sides, it's it's a, it's a well-made unit. This is one of their higher-end ones that they made. It's a three-head. Uh, it's definitely got the mechanics inside and the electronics as more of a higher-end unit. And underneath, there's also a panel for... You can pull that panel off and access the electronics for servicing not all the electronics but the majority of the audio portion can be accessed through there if you need to you know replace a part or something like that you wouldn't have to pull the board that's on this side out and i'll show you the inside a little bit later so anyway this unit like i mentioned it's um it's a three head single single bay cassette deck. Uh, I guess we can start over here on the left. Just get your standard your power connect or your power uh, button here. Got your eject. Um, I can show you inside real quick. There's your uh, I can show you there's your audio and audio and playback heads here. And then your erase head. And uh, this unit also is kind of unique. Maybe not unique, but um, it's got dual cap stands on it too. There's one here and then one on this side. So I guess there's some benefits to having that. It, I think it I think it creates a little more tension across the head and it, it might be more stable. I'm not really sure on all the benefits there are to it and there's probably some cons to it as well. But So that's what the inside looks like of the bay. Um, See, we got a closed loop, dual cap stand, silent mechanism, Dolby HX Pro, amorphous head, three head. I'm not sure this uh, this ceramic composite cassette stabilizer. You know, I I did see some rubber grommets on one of the motors. But I, I don't know what that stabilization 
is, as far as hardware goes, so it's got a nice display on it. It gives you the, the counter, uh, actually gives you minutes and seconds instead of just a number. So that's really nice. Inside the inside the bay, there's a, there's some optical sensors in there that can monitor the rotation pretty accurately, apparently, for um, keeping track of the time. And then this unit has a left and right signal power meters too, so when you're recording, you can set that accordingly, so you're not too high or too low. And then control wise, we've got the counter reset here. So yeah, it zeroes that out. And there's a memory function for the, the counter as well. I haven't looked into that a whole lot yet. Uh, tape size, will you can just switch between the different lengths of tape here. And then here's all your Dolby. So this unit has Dolby B and C. Um, I guess there's pros and cons to both of them. The C is the most current, at least it was when they made this unit. Um, and then there's this MPX filter too. All for, oh, this, you know, this uh, I believe has something to do with the uh, recording if you're if you're recording off of an FM stereo radio station that can uh, work with the, the the Dolby noise reduction and help improve sound quality if you're you know, recording from a source like that um, there's this record return I think when you're recording if you hit this I think it's supposed to rewind to the beginning of the tape and then start uh, put the the unit in pause record mode I think I that's what the manual says anyway and then this is just your CD direct so if you're you know hooked up to that CD input on the back you can utilize that for of a uh, according to the manual more of a direct connection to to the unit um, so you're not going through as many electronics that way and uh, should get a better overall signal quality recording performance using that. And then this is your monitor. So what's cool is uh, this has got three heads on it. While you're recording, you can actually monitor the recording. So um, so as you're as you're recording, if you you hit that you'll see the tape come up and that's what you're actually listening to is the recorded signal and then this will be your source signal when you hit that what you're hearing and of course down here you just get your typical record pause record play stop fast forward rewind and then you got your input level set here <clears throat> when you're recording you can set that so you're you can, uh, you know, see what your meter's doing and adjust it accordingly. And then there's a bias, fine, adjust. This is for different types of um, cassettes. Uh, if you're using normal or metal or whatever, you this ha this has to uh, do with the adjustment of the bias for the filters and whatnot. And then there's your left and right balance for recording and then your output level so that that's your output level for uh, playback or your headphones you know that sort of thing so so that, there's all your basic controls um, so I'm gonna just do a short recording here I'm gonna play Something off of this recorder if my batteries are still functioning. Yeah, okay. 
Let's go to this one. I'm going to hit play. Okay, so that's playing. So we're going to do source. So this is, I'll turn the volume up on the amp. We'll hear it a little bit. It's just some piano practice my son was doing. So this records, or this will, you can, adjust, you can hear it adjust the level here. Now, what we can do is, I'm gonna just hit record. I've got a tape in here. So, I do, yeah. So I'm gonna hit record and play and it is recording and you know I can adjust the input levels here a lot of this recording is really low to begin with so So now we're actually listening to the, the the recording here. I'll switch this over. This is the original. You can hear it's a little bit louder. And that's your tape. So it's nice you be you can actually make adjustments to your levels, you know, based on what you're seeing being actually recorded. You can also tweak the balance, you know, your left and your right, right balance. See, I've got it cranked all the way to the right and you're only seeing stuff on the right, vice versa. So, so yeah, it's, these three head units are really nice that way. They're, and then we can do a record mute Add a, a blank into that. See, it gives like a three second blank and then it started recording again. So, yeah, this unit's got some nice features to it. It's a, it's a really high quality machine. And um, this one's in nice shape too. So, yeah, that's really all I had. Just wanted to do a short demonstration. This unit does... I'm going to actually just stop. Rewind this. A little bit. I think I rewound it past where we started. Now we're monitoring the tape. Fast forward a little bit here. Yeah, so that's the recording we just made. That's where I was turning the input level up and down and whatnot. So I'm just going to turn this output level down for now. But yeah, this thing, you know, it, it rewinds and fast forwards just fine. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, rewind and fast forward. Yeah. I've seen some videos of this on YouTube, but not too many. So, anyway. And I pulled the cover off here, and this is what the insides look like. So you can see there's three motors in this unit. This one is to actuate the head lifting and raising up. And this one's for the rewind, fast forward. Um, and this one's running the cap stands. 
So it's pretty interesting. There's two flywheels under there. I don't know if you can see them, but let me get a light down in there. See, there's two. There's one, and then there's one on this side too, right there. So there's two. So there's two belts. One belt goes from the motor to the one uh, flywheel, and then there's another belt on that flywheel that goes over to the second flywheel. So that's how you get the two cap stands running. And you got the power supply side, and then all the audio stuff over here. So if you need to see this for reference, I don't think anybody has ever worked on this one. To me, it looks like everything's original, but it's it's really hard to say for sure. So I know sometimes when you're working on them, it's nice to have a reference to look at to see what components are there or what wires are going where and so that's what the inside looks like and that's all I have for this video thanks for watching until next time